This is Jim Emptor, Van Onna Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for May 1st, 2020. Corn market today down one and a half. Beans down five and three quarters. Chicago wheat down seven and three quarters. Minneapolis down nine and a quarter. Kansas City down five cents. On the wheat, corn market down four and a quarter. Beans up 15 cents. Chicago wheat down five and a quarter. Minneapolis up seven and three quarters. Kansas City up seven and a quarter. So overall, we're kind of just stuck here. Market uh, faded early, found some support, bounced off that a little bit, and then just kind of traded both sides of unchanged on Friday with a little weaker bias. We come in here uh, with key areas of focus for Dees corn around 343. If we can get above that level, we start activating upside price counts. And in November soybeans, that's around 887 to activate those upside price counts. We'll share those more if we can activate them. But for right now, we're kind of stuck coiling here at the bottom end of the range. When you look to the feeder cattle, up 72 and a half Friday. Live cattle up 130. Hog market up 375 lock limit. On the week, feeder cattle down 197 and a half. Lives up 227 and a half. And hog market up 1035. Cash trading cattle 90 to 105 if you can find a slaughter place. Uh, basically processing plants and optimism around potentially opening over the next few weeks is what has allowed the markets to firm here a little bit, but now we need to see that come to fruition. Cutouts have been screaming higher, but on the negative tone, exports were a negative this week, missing the mark on cattle. Over in Hogs, Hog Index at $58. Cutout values there too, uh, climbing as well. Uh, we had very good export news this week out of the hogs, and I think that's what really culminated to a strong finish to the week. Potential of China being around the markets as we work ahead, and also some potential holes once we get these slaughter plants uh, up and running again. So a lot of question marks going into next week, so strap in, get rested, get planted this weekend, be safe, and we'll uh, try to come back next week for some more wild markets. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onna Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.